Do you want to learn how to program this machine for bottles? You have come to the right place today we are going to do it. I invite you to subscribe to the IndieSack channel. Welcome future programmer. Very good everyone. Welcome to IndieSack. Today I am going to teach you how to program a water filling machine for bottles that has three systems. First is the filling of the water. The second placing the bottle cap. The third that places the label for the bottle. We are going to program it with the PLC Siemens S7200 in the TIA portal and we are going to simulate it. Well let's start first we have to know the outputs and inputs that we will use. We have the I0.0 input that will be the start sensor for the count of three bottles that are going to be filled. Then we have the input I0.1 which is the count of the bottles that have already been filled. The next thing we have is the output Q0.0 which is the conveyor belt 1. Q0.4 is the piston for filling. When it is activated it will go down and therefore output Q0.5 will be activated, which opens the water to start filling the bottles. Then we have Q0.1 which is conveyor belt 2. We also see a correlative system that places the bottle caps and in the next one, which is the capper, we have the I0.2 input, which is the bottle arrival sensor to start the capper. Now we have the exit Q0.2 which is the conveyor belt 3. Then we have the output Q0.6 is the pneumatic cylinder 1 that will stop the bottle to be able to screw on the bottle cap. The output Q0.7 is the pneumatic cylinder 2 that will not let another bottle through until the screwing has finished. Then we have output Q1.0, which is the piston for the cap which when activated, will go down, which will therefore activate Q1.1, which is the bottle cap installer, which will begin to rotate until it is completely screwed on and finally we have the output Q0.3 which is the conveyor belt 4. Q1.2 is a motor that will activate the rollers which will rotate the bottle to correctly place the label. Well that's all. Now we go to programming. Well now in the programming we have the input I0.5 is the emergency stop and the input I0.6 is the start of the whole process. This is being placed by a pulse input which will lock the outputs Q0.1 which is the conveyor belt 2 the Q0.2 that is the conveyor belt 3, the Q0.3 conveyor belt 4, the Q1.2 motor of the labels, and a mark which is the step to the next process. We have the M1.1 that will activate conveyor belt 1, it is the first, but we place a counter that is linked to input I0.0, which is the start sensor, that when it counts three bottles, it will turn off conveyor belt 1. This resets the counter by means of an emergency stop, which is the next process and in segment 5. We have the mark M1.1 which is the counter when it has reached 3 it will activate the filling piston which is the one that will go down and also activate a timer for 5 seconds to activate the M1.2. Mark that will activate a TOF timer that when activated at the Q0.5 output will be activated for 4.5 seconds. 
which is the one that gives way to the water to fill the bottle for 4.5 seconds, which in turn will add another ton that will notify me through Mark 1.3 that the filling has already been completed. The which is placed here that resets the counter and returns to the same process. Well now in segment 6 we have input I 0.1 is the one that will count the number of bottles that are filled. In segment 7 we have the next process which is the capper, input I 0.2 which is the arrival sensor of the stopper by means of a flank will activate two marks one of which will activate the pneumatic cylinder which will allow the bottle to stop and after 1.5 seconds the pneumatic cylinder 2 will be activated, which does not allow the previous bottle to pass. After of that thread, the next one will activate the piston for 2 seconds which will make it go down and proceed to the screwing for a time of 2.5 seconds the screwing will be activated which is the bottle cap installer of the q1.1 output and when it ends within 2.5 seconds the piston will turn off and then turn off air cylinder 1 and air cylinder 2 first well that's all now we go to the simulation. Well, let's start with the simulation. I'm going to start it and as you can see, all the output has been activated. The bottle begins to move.
Let's see the machine from a better view, filling, capping and labeling. That's all well I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like and any comments if you want another type of machine let me know I'll say goodbye well. Thanks bye.